everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome back to myself because it's been about two weeks that I haven't been uploading uh, videos because uh, there has been an emergency back home my uh, grandfather just uh, crossed the rainbow and uh, me and my husband has to go back uh, quickly to the Philippines to attend his funeral so um, right now is the second day that I was back and I'm recording this video and today I am going to show you the physical stock of uh, Pharrell Williams very first collection for spring summer 2024 there are always two drops in every um, collection seasonal collection so this season which is spring summer this is going to be the first drop which is going to be in the first week of January but a lot of you have seen the picture in the social media or maybe your SA has sent you a I don't know a catalog but uh, in this uh, YouTube video, I am going to show you the physical stocks. Um, maybe not everything, but we are lucky enough that we had this uh, small event in MBS and uh, one day in our store, and uh, I was able to film the physical stock of this item. And uh, I just want to remind you that this are uh, merchandise pieces. These are not uh, selling pieces. So uh, if you think, and please don't ever think that this uh, some clients get it first before you because everything will be sold on the, on the day of the launch and these are just to, to show you the materials and a closer look of the details of how beautiful the creation of Pharrell William is. Also I would uh, inc include some of the prices of what is in the video itself so um, watch out for that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you what are the items that I think are worth buying and why. So uh, stay tuned and watch the whole videos. Okay, so these are the outfits that are from Runway Collection. And uh, these items are called Dandy Look. Like the total look of the item is called Dandy, D-A-N-D-Y. And uh, as I understand from the definition, it means that it is, um, it is a person that puts extra effort with his outfit when it comes to the details. And um, yeah, I mean the details. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, it's just small details like this, like the pearls and the tweed. Uh, jacket it's all uh, Pharrell's style and um, you can see the small pictures on the, the images I mean on the jacket it's also well detailed you will see that even on the skirt the pleated skirt is just so special we have more uh, ready-to-wear such as this so this is the damier uh, outfit look at the wide-legged pants and uh, we will get on with the bag later I'm just gonna um, discuss a little about the ready-to-wear and we will start with this uh, rack with the what we called damouflage so the damier damouflage is the camouflage in damier series this is the tweed jacket that i showed just now from the mannequin and uh, you have this beautiful jacket as well this jacket is very uh, tailored i mean it's a little bit oversized i haven't really tried it and uh, on this rack just a simple shirt yeah, you also have the pant. I think I'm not going to remove them all. It's another jacket over here. And then you have this very special t-shirt. And I know like a lot of people are into t-shirts. So let me just put that in. This is the Damia t-shirt. I think this is one of the key pieces. I'm just going to go through a little bit about the... Uh, ready to wear right over here so uh, this is uh, still part of the dandy look you will see a lot of um, jackets 
which are a little bit cropped, you will have this wide-legged pants and uh, also some bummer jacket right here. Uh, it's called the Elevated Casual. Uh, yeah, so we have all this ready to wear. I'm not going to discuss them one by one, but uh, you will see it um, on the looks of the fashion show. And there it is. The thing all of you are waiting for are the bags. And uh, one of the key looks, key pieces for this um, collection are the Speedy. And this Speedy is not your ordinary Speedy because it's made of um, a high quality leather. Let's see, closer look. And uh, this one is not very structured. It's meant to be really soft. And that's the key look of this. This is size 25 and you will see how it looks like on the mannequin. It is rather small. So it can be for um, men or women. It's a very, very versatile. In fact, a lot of women client loves this as well. There are four colors for this. Uh, I showed you the green one and this is the blue also in size 25 and you will see how it looks like on the mannequin it is very beautiful and uh, one thing about this PD is that it does it doesn't just come with the key bell it also comes with the tag and this is a very soft leather it's lambskin inside so um, it's the first time that we created speedy in this material so the Speedy comes in three sizes and the first one, the first two that I showed you is size um, 25 and these are the 50 and the 40. And you will see the difference with the size. Maybe I'm going to show it off uh, while I'm carrying it. This is the size 40. On me, I'm 5 feet tall and uh, this is how it looks like. It's rather big on me already, to be honest. Uh, but for uh, traveling, this is a perfect size. This is the size 50. Definitely too big for me. Too huge, too big. So um, I think for traveling, 40 is the perfect size, in my opinion. And for day to day, it's, of course, the size uh, 25. Just a quick run through with uh, the Damier Pop, which is the Damier print with um, colors on it. This is the Speedy. Okay, I forgot the name of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna just put um, a caption. <laughs> What's the name of this bag? I don't have time to open it up now. And this is the cute pouch. Actually, I thought this is really small, but this is huge. Let me show you. A video of me carrying it yep this is the size so with me already cover <laughs> my um, torso but yeah this is how it looks like really cute really nice and uh, just to let you know that everything I'm showing right now are not physical pieces these are all uh, just for display these are the um, merchandise pieces just for a client to see we also have the damouflage which are here and we have the trunk over there this is the sneaker trunk with uh, Pharrell's uh, croco uh, trainers we have some trainers as well in Damier and all the others but just to show you the damouflage collection this is the print this is one of the shoes that are that is really cute as well and this mary jane is really a uh, uh, level up for f men that are very very uh fashion forward i have a colleague that wears this i mean that he tried it it really looks good on him but he is really a real fashionista that's my colleague annie and uh, there are a lot of um 
runway looks that they wear a socks with this and it's just really gorgeous this is also one of the boots that are also very beautiful so what do you think can you tell me which one is your favorite amongst all the items that I have showed you in that uh, short video or rather long video so this is the time that I'm going to say my opinion and uh, to be honest with you if there is something that I would think that is worth it to buy in this collection is first of all the speedy collection and I know of all people as a know your reaction about the price point of this beautiful speedy bag but believe me when I tell you that the price of this or the value of this bag is going to be higher as time passes by and as everyone has already have their own and once it's already been discontinued so Pharrell William concentrated on the uh, primary colors when it comes to this uh, bag and I think there are a lot of thought that, that was made for uh, the material to be as supple as it is it's not easy to have that uh, bag um, as soft as it is and as buttery as Pharrell William itself uh, said in one of his videos so um I think it's worth it to, to get one of the colors of this bag. If it was for me, I would go for, for the yellow because that is also the color of the millionaire bag, the bag that is 1 million euro. And um, I think carrying this bag is also a status bag because not everyone can access it. You can only pre-order it if you have a regular C8. That is following up with you. And uh, until now, it's still open for order, but one day, especially when um, it is already launched, it's going to be uh, fully sold out. And the hardest part of missing uh, a bag, especially a runway piece, is when you can't get it anymore. Or maybe you can get it in a secondhand shop or uh, stores, but double the price. When it comes to ready to wear and shoes, I think ready to wear and shoes are also a good investment, especially jackets and t-shirts and also trainer shoes and maxis i think this is going to be huge as well i would love to uh, suggest the damouflage which is like the damier that is uh, like a censored kind of uh, design but it's inspired by the damier print which is um the the signature uh print of louis vuitton with an art a lot of people says that it looks like a minecraft i do not grow up with minecraft so i have no idea but most of the bo boys things but i think when it comes to that collection it's very very unique it's very wearable uh not too complicated as sometimes uh people don't understand the designs of virgil abloh when he was still alive but when it comes to um pharrell's collection i think he still thinks of the normal consumer and some of them are not willing to explore that much when it comes to their high fashion sense so uh, it's still very commercialized and um, very wearable so t-shirts and uh, jackets if you have a chance please pre-order them and in my personal opinion first collection like the time that first collection of Virgil has been in the store a lot of people are skeptical about it and they they really think that it's too much but then a few months later even two years after everyone is still looking for the very first collection which is the monogram with the orange chain yeah so uh, don't regret it get what you want this is the first collection this is going to be valuable i am not saying and never will i say that it has a very good resale value but in my experience first collection always has just in my experience but i'm not saying that this would be but it's a good investment as well and a good if you're a louis vuitton collection what would be the very very valuable thing in your collection other than the first collection so did i say too much collection but overall that's my advice get something from this collection even just a small keychain maybe but uh, if you have extra budget, go for that Speedy because that Speedy is really valuable. It's also iconic. It never goes out of style. 
and that's the that's Pharrell's first uh, collection so uh, yeah that's all it's getting late now and I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you on the next one bye